Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Jeff, and welcome back to Glimpses of Glory. We're moving right along in our study of knowing God's will and the fill-in-the-blank question for this portion of this study. God wants us to blank others. We're up to the letter M as we're working our way through the alphabet, and there were numerous great responses. But the one I want to hone in on is the thought that God wants us to minister to others. In 1 Peter chapter 4, in verse 10, we read, As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another. Now, we might call this devotion saved for a purpose. For that is true for each and every one of us. We have been saved for a purpose. The Lord Jesus said, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, that you should go and bring forth much fruit. In Acts chapter 1, he said, You shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. In Matthew chapter 5, he said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And then in 1 Peter 2, uh, we are told that he has called us out of darkness that we might show forth his marvelous light. So God has a plan and, and God has a purpose and, and God has a place for each and every one of us. And he said, as every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another. Now the phrase, the gift, uh, I may have mentioned before is ambiguous. But just to simplify that uh, just a little bit, I think all spiritual gifts uh, can be divided into the following three categories. That is, bringing people to Christ. That is, building up people in Christ or by being a blessing uh, to others. So bringing others, building up others, or being a blessing to others. The first question we must ask ourselves is which one of those categories does our gift best fit in? Everyone is a witness, but everyone is not an evangelist. Everyone is a worker, but everyone is not involved in the ministry of edification. God has a place for each and, and every one of us, but we're not all in doing this, the same thing. We find that in Romans 12 and in 1 Corinthians 14, many places in the scripture. So where does your gift fit? Bringing people to Christ? Building up people in Christ? Or being a blessing to others through Christ? Whatever it is, he said, as every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another. On to the letter N. God wants us to blank others, and your response is to begin with the letter N. I'll see you tomorrow morning on Glimpses of Glory.